So let's watch this MK uh, BHD is a bad actor because he didn't sugarcoat his review of a $700 product with a monthly subscription. It's not on him to play interference PR rep for a company if version one of the product isn't good. He's never struck me as someone excited to shit on products. I find it distasteful, almost unethical to say this when you have 18 million subscribers. Hard to explain why. But with great tech reach comes great responsibility, potentially killing someone else's nascent project, reese of carelessness. First, do no harm. This guy promoting smallbets.com. Uh, we disagree on what my job is. It's magnetized to my shirt and I... Yeah, I saw this. I saw a TikTok of this pin. I'm not going to watch a one hour and 32 minute review. You are on crack cocaine megaphonics. If you think that this is a something I'm going to watch. Well, yeah, I, everyone's shitting on this uh, AI pin for understandable reasons. I saw one TikTok and immediately made up my mind that it sucked ass. It was a dude. It was a dude who was. Um, All right. So this. The worst product I ever reviewed for now. Okay, I love that there was a 25 minute review of this and Megaphonics still linked the one hour and 35 minute review. God damn, Megaphonics. God damn, son. That's crazy. There's a 25 minute review, which I will not be watching, but it's pretty funny that you were like, oh, here, watch this one hour and 35 minute one instead. Huh. Anyway, I'm not going to watch any of the reviews. My point is, this fucking thing sucks. Like, we don't need to watch the 25-minute review. There's a 28-second review that will basically offer you everything you need to know. Look and tell me what this is. Or I'll just do this, I guess. It's still oh. not. It's a cyber truck. The photo is of a cyber truck. It takes that long for it to like basically give you this input. An electric pickup truck produced by Tesla. Yep. It is pretty funny. An incredible new device. What's up, okay, Greg? fourteen Mute. minutes. And this one. Is this it? Is this the non-review review? Technology truly fascinates me. A new gadget being introduced to the world has the potential to change the way we live, <laughs> learn, and communicate. Or more interestingly, it could flop and become a laughing stock of the internet. Which is why a few weeks ago, I was thrilled to discover the unveiling for a project called the Humane AI Pin. This might be the worst product presentation I've ever seen for one of the strangest products I've ever seen. Apparently, Humane AI is a new tech startup founded by two former Apple employees and current lovers, Imran Chowdhury and Bethany Bongiorno. Their mission is building... Bro, that's the biggest L. You can't have an Italian run the fucking helm, dude. Are you kidding me? That's what you did. You went and you found an Italian with the last name Bongiorno to run your goddamn company. And then you expected it to be fucking operational. Innovative technology that feels familiar, natural, and human. Okay, first thing that's sticking out to me is that none of those words were useful. Also, do I really want my technology to feel more human? I've never wished my MacBook to be more fleshy. Also, Humane AI is such an unsettling name for a company. I'm sorry. You lost me right off the bat. I feel like the only times I ever even hear the word humane is when we're talking about like factory farming or something. Don't worry, dude. When this AI takes over, it is going to be super humane in the way it slaughters us. It will not violate the Geneva Convention, unlike other AIs, Siri. All right, let's go ahead and watch the product presentation and let's see if you think it's as weird as I do. Welcome to Humane. Thank you. This is the Humane AI pin. Cool. It's a standalone device and software platform. So the intro does have a very threatening aura about it, doesn't it? The sterile white room. They're both so serious and they're unboxing a mysterious device. I feel like I'm about to be tortured for information. 
What is that? This is the humane AI pin, and it is the last thing you will ever see. It's a standalone device and software platform built from the ground up for AI. Okay. Here's the verge showing what it can't Remind do. Remind me tomorrow to pick up the dry cleaning. Reminders are not currently supported. Would you like to store this as a note? So you use the humane AI pin for a while and you start to realize there are a lot of things that feel like they should work and just don't. Here's just a few of them. Set an alarm for 6 a.m. The alarm feature is not currently available. Timers will be coming in a future software update. Look at this and tell me how much it costs. Our AI pin is unable to determine the cost of the item. Email Neelai and tell him I'm missing our meeting tomorrow. The email feature is not... Bro, by the way, this is literally everything your phone can do for those of you who don't know. Maybe you were under the fucking rock. So even if it was able to do all of those things, it would still be kind of stupid. Because, like, why the fuck do you need this? I guess, like, maybe it's it's got... A practical application for the disabled or something. But it's basically everything your fucking Apple Watch could do currently. Not currently available. Navigate me to the nearest coffee shop as long as it's walkable and over four stars on Yelp. Your AI pin doesn't have the capability to provide navigation instructions. You can use a map application on your smartphone to get directions to the Starbucks. Some of that stuff, if they figure it out, is going to be so cool. Will it? It's just wearable tech that exists already. It's your fucking smartwatch. Okay, so it's some kind of mobile device. It's built from the ground up for AI. And I'm very excited for them to tell us what that means. It comes in three colorways. Okay. We've got Eclipse, Lunar, and Equinox. Those are not colors. There's two pieces, a computer and a battery booster. And the battery booster powers a smaller battery inside the main computer. Okay, great. What does it do? And this is how we achieve our all day battery life. Oh, great. It's got all day battery life. That way you can spend all day. There are no wake words, so it's not always listening or always recording. In fact, it doesn't do anything until you engage with it. Okay, thank God. So it doesn't record me. That's good to know. For a second, I was worried that it almost had one feature. Who is this for? What kind of person needs to hear about what colors a device comes in before they'd even consider hearing about what it actually does? Also, two of the colors are black. You designed three colors and two of them are black. You couldn't come up with a third color? Also, excuse me, uh, that's called Equinox, which is very different than Eclipse. Uh, this was a, you know, amateur mistake from amateur tech reviewer Danny Gonzalez. I'm sorry because I know that not everyone is super comfortable in front of a camera. Sorry, Onyx, not Eclipse. Eclipse is the other one. Camera, it's not a skill set everyone has. But maybe you guys should have like hired a spokesperson or something instead of letting the world's two sleepiest CEOs do this product demo. The battery booster powers a smaller battery inside the main computer. Are they okay? This thing has all day battery life. That's because it actually feeds on your life force. I've had mine on for three months and you probably can't even tell the physical toll it's had on me. And your engagement comes through your touch, voice, gesture, or the laser ink display. Whoa, wait, okay. Holy cow, we have a feature. It actually does something. I will admit I was not expecting that. Why didn't you lead with that? I mean, I don't know what that is or what it does, but at least it's something. It looks futuristic. I don't know about the name laser ink display though. That doesn't sound very futuristic. The laser ink display. Sounds like a printer. It also comes with its own connectivity built right in. Our own humane network connected by T-Mobile. Our very own network. That is T-Mobile's network. We were able to pack a lot of technology into something really small. Tell me about it, dude. I can barely even count all the technologies you put in this thing. You got the laser ink display, all day battery, black. Is that a technology? They continue for a while just using buzzwords and vague expressions to explain what this thing does until like three minutes into the video when they so finally give us a demonstration of something tangible yeah. this thing can do. Play the song, How Music Makes You Feel Better. Doesn't look like it's making him feel better. We've partnered with Tidal, which you get. <laughs> why is he so mad? He's mad all the time. I don't understand why. Why watch this corny edit and not MKBHD better vid? God damn it, dude. Because I don't care enough. I don't care enough. I don't care. God, you guys are such fucking relentless nerds sometimes. Okay. 
Oh my god, nerds, shut up. Get out of the box. Okay, finally, we know one thing it can do. It can play music. And not just how you would normally listen to music either. You can give it little riddles to try to figure out what songs you want it to play. Play music written by Prince, but not performed by Prince. Give me songs written by first-born left-handed British women who have never been to Ibiza that weren't released on weekends or holidays. Can Alexa do that? I don't know. I don't think anyone's ever tried before. Got my music controls. If I go to the left and go back, I was go down. I can pause. Wow. Okay, that actually does look a lot more convenient than using title on my phone, but only because I don't have title on my phone. After this, we do start to get some truly incredible demos using this product's advanced AI. When is the next eclipse? Where is the best place to see it? The next total solar eclipse will occur on April eighth, twenty twenty four. Best places to see it are Exmouth, Australia, and East Timor. Huh, that's weird. This NASA article says that that eclipse that's happening on April 8th is actually not going to be visible in Australia. It's only yeah, going to be visible fuck? from, like, the U.S. It actually seems like it's going to be nighttime in Australia during the eclipse. Well, what are you going to do? I mean, they're a technology company. They're not a space company. What would you expect them to know about the moon? They only named all of their colors. Wait, are they... Are they using ChatGPT? So it's just lying as well. So it's not even like good Siri. At least Siri uses like existing Google links and shit. Whereas OpenAI has the capacity to hallucinate, has the capacity to lie all the fucking time. Why did they put the lie in the promo video? How? Sick. I love having a fucking shittier version of siri tied to my chest that just lies to me colors after it i hate to interrupt this video but i have to tell you guys about a revolutionary discovery of my own grams of protein great those almonds for sure do not have 15 grams of protein an entire cup of almonds has 20 grams of protein this dude was holding like nine almonds did i think he was asking about his whole hand because that actually might be accurate i'm gonna eat it Enjoy it. Guys, I hate to say it, but I don't think your thing works. You only asked it to do a couple things and it got two of them wrong. He does do a demo where he sends a text later in the video and that seems to work. Tell Andrew I'll be there later tonight. But to be fair, we never see the person receive the text. Uh, I got a weird text from Imran that just says, learned how to go potty big boy style. Interestingly, after people started to realize that all of the information in this demo was wrong, they actually re-uploaded the video pretending that the pin gave the correct answer the entire time. How much protein? A half a cup of almonds has 15 grams of protein. Don't believe it. That's humane propaganda. The AI pen allows you to shop in the real world. How much is this online? This is $28 online. Great. Buy it. That one is super confusing. It doesn't give you any information on where it's getting that price, where you're buying it from, when it will arrive. I feel like you need to give it at least some... I just don't get it. Why would you need this... Oh, oh my specifics. god. Specifics, otherwise it's definitely gonna mess up your order. Go ahead and buy this book. Sending to Sudan. No, no, send it here. You didn't specify sending to Sudan. Shit. According to Verge, if you ask to play Beyonce, the AI breaks because you can't recognize the Unicode character for E. They pushed out over the air an over-the-air update, which now doesn't let you play Beyonce. That's just one example of how hacky and underbaked this product is. I feel like nowadays. There are a lot of products, especially in the tech space, that specifically are designed not to do what it was intentionally supposed to do, but specifically designed to make a big wave, no matter how shitty it is, and get influencers to interact with it so they can make a quick buck. A scam. It does feel like so many tech products that are now released, especially AI adjacent ones, are almost always just released to just max out on the first wave of early adopters who have, I guess, disposable income. They figured it out that like mathematically, if you just sell to early adopters who will put up with a lot of dog shit thinking that they have one on everybody else that that doesn't actually have any real uh amenities at all see megaphonics 
I love this because Megaphonics is exactly who I'm talking about. I think it's safe to say, as a somewhat new product category, form-wise, not feature-wise, it's fine for it to be met on the first try. What I'm more interested in is how in is how this form factor adapts in like 10 years. That's what I mean. Megaphonics is exactly who I'm talking about. Like the type of person who would purchase this if he had more disposable income, okay? He would 100p be one of the first like early adopters. Just dropping 800 fucking dollars specifically to, you know, specifically be to be one of the tech pioneers. And I think they rely on this shit now. That's like, that's their entire strategy. Now, if you're wondering how you can get one of these things, the prices range from $700 to $800 for the more expensive colors. And they're estimated to ship in March of 2024. Now, you might be thinking the price of $700 is a little bit high for this thing, but think about it this way. What other product on the market can so accurately tell you how many grams of protein aren't in nine almonds. Okay, they've also got this little short film about the human experience using their AI pin. Isn't life about what we experience? What? Yeah, Megaphonics won Hundo P on that Neuralink train as soon as he's like, he's gonna be the test subject. I called this not ready for primetime AI. Phrase is caught on with colleagues. Only a complete simp with purchases crap. Megaphonics would 100 P be the first to get on the Neuralink test trials. What we smell? To get lobotomized by Elon Can Musk. I eat this? Yes, dragon fruits are low in sugar. What is this thing, my mom? Can I drink this? Not before you finish your vegetables and say please next time. What did you just call me? I am your pin, young man. Dude, I want to buy this thing just for that feature. I, I want to hold every object, creature, and human in front of this thing and ask if I can eat it. Do you, do you need something from me? Can I eat that? Analyzing. Oh, uh, no, you can't. You can't eat me. I'm, I'm a person. So. High fat content detected. Root. One gram of protein detected. That can't be right. Tiny balls detected. All right, what the hell? Enjoy it. Yes, yummy. Wait, stop! No, you cannot eat me. I'm a human. All right, man. Who do you think I'm gonna trust? You? Or my $700 pin. Last time I checked, this pin doesn't have tiny balls. This thing tells me what to eat, when to eat. It even suggested this very fashionable outfit I'm wearing today. Is that why you're not wearing pants? They're in Sudan! What we hear? Hey, uh, what should I get here? What is this interaction? Who are those people? Does he know them? Man, if he's in a different country where he doesn't speak the language, I would not trust that pin. Based on everything we've seen so far, who knows what it's- <laughs> He just says like the worst slurs. That's why they're- That's why they're shocked. <laughs> he gets arrested for public indecency. Saying to these people. What we see. Capture this. Dude, parents are gonna love that feature. Me walking around a park with my AI pin. Capture this baby. Capture. Kidnap this child. So after watching all of this, I have two thoughts. The first being maybe someday this will be like a revolutionary product that changes the way we all interact with each other. Maybe we're just seeing some hiccups now, but a few product. Yes. Peach jars, let's collab. Let's link up and build. He's too busy p shitting on this pin thing. Give him a second. The generations down the line, this thing is really going to take off. It'll be more refined. It will know where the moon is. But the second thing is, I have a lot of questions about this product. For one, how is this better than the phones we have now? More specific- Yeah, I need to- <laughs> Yeah, I think you'll do great on OnlyFans. See you soon. I would love to do an OnlyFans collab. No, we're gonna we're gonna get PJRs to clean up uh, my backyard gym again. Specifically, why can't all of the features of this thing just be built into one app in a phone? And what if you don't want to be talking to your chest every time you need to Google something or text someone? Well, this thing started to pick up some traction online and eventually the founders ended up on CNBC where the hosts seem to have a lot of the same questions. Doing this right now, Simran Chowdhury, he's chairman and president of the company. 
And Bethany Bongiorno, she's the CEO. We're also very scared of them. That's why we've sat them as far away from us as we physically can. We actually ordered this giant table when we found out they were coming. I don't know if it, can we get the camera so people can see just what we're talking about in case. Imran, you can't see as much because it's black, so it blends in with your jacket. It's <laughs> black. Imran's just sitting there like. <laughs> It's Eclipse! It's privacy first, <laughs> so it's not always recording. It's actually just doing things when you want it on demand. Is but it doing something right now? Or are you it's recording not. Us? It's doing Please. nothing right now. I get a little sense of pride when he says that. It's actually doing nothing right now. It's doing nothing right now. After years of research and millions of dollars spent, we finally designed a pin that does nothing. It's doing nothing right now. You might think that's a bad thing, but you've never met this AI. It's evil. Turn around, maybe you can get that on camera. Oh, yeah. I see your hand. Yeah, keep yeah. Keep, keep, I see your yeah. hand. Can you see what's that? that? Yep. Yeah, what's yeah. that telling you? Oh, God, dude. I do feel for him. I mean, these people are not, like, media trained, I feel like. They really should have hired a professional spokesperson because I feel like they're just so out of their depth. He's He's got, like, the worst camera angle possible to show this thing off. His hand is shaking. Imagine a little alert pops up on the screen that's like, high heart rate detected. Is Squawk Box the name of this show? I'm not familiar with it. I never heard of this before. Or is this some kind of jab at their device? Formal Apple designers peddle their snake oil Squawk Box. You can use it however you want. Like right. what? Like what? Tell me something you would use that for. Okay, it sounds like this host is thinking the exact same thing as me. What is it? Tell me one thing. Then they just start like drilling them. They don't even let either of them finish answering their questions. They just like are bombarding them with uh, reasonable questions about this device. That you've got in, stuff that you do just all but the how time. how would I know without seeing a screen? Uh, a user LED called So that's what I want to ask you about. This is brutal, man. Let the poor guy speak. Just l at least let him finish answering your questions, man. I mean, he's not actually going to answer them. He's probably just going to say AI over and over, but just let him finish his sentence. Sometimes I'll be at a meeting, yeah. right? And and I'm sneaking under the, under the desk to look at my email because right. that's, and I can't say, uh, hey, hey Siri, tell me my email. I mean, that's actually a really good point. The only way to interact with this device is to talk to it or to use this weird clunky laser jet display, which I don't even think you can type on. So if you want to text someone, you have to say it out loud, which just does not seem practical at all. So is this device going to revolutionize technology? Yeah, you can't even take creep shots with this. <laughs> hey, humane, <laughs> take some creep shots. <laughs>